please. If you've got a problem, constable's there, but I can film your vehicle. It's no problem at all. I can, honestly. Here we are, down the road from the ULAS parking here in Staines. We have an unmarked police vehicle. It was illuminated as follow me sign to the Peugeot, what is it, Peugeot Bipper? I wonder why. I can't see any ANPR on the police vehicle. Uh, something must have spiked their interest. Yeah, there's a Bipper. PX10 XRH. Let's quickly run that one through, see if it's tax and MOT'd. So the vehicle is untaxed, 1st of July, so they must have an ANPR camera on board, or they've ran it through manually, no tax on the vehicle, that makes sense doesn't it? Let's have a look at the front of this vehicle, I like where they've hidden the lights, especially in that rear quarter. There. So you'll see how close we are to the ULES site, or well, the ULES parking site, which is just down there. And that's what the unmarked police vehicle, the traffic cops, looks like. You can't see any sign of blue lights, can you? You've just got that strip there at the side of the number plate, which gives the game away. Oh, and we've got some lights in the grill. Normally you've got an aerial on the top, but no, no extra aerial at all. Is there an ANPR camera in the dash? I think he's on the phone. That might be an ANPR camera just there. I'm not going to get too close, you know, give them a reason to start telling us about privacy and all that lot they are in their vehicle but yeah that's the one that's got no tax on it and would have had his reminder but for some reason no didn't get it taxed oh dear This vehicle that's parked just here, I mean, it is residence parking down this bit, but it's got some blue lights inside there as well. They look quite nice, the blue lights, don't they? Yeah, but um, the new ones, the, the new models, they have these, yeah. But yeah. When I, when I switch the engine, it just comes up very nice. Yeah, normally blue is reserved for just police. So I was wondering, because they're police, they're there, you see. Oh no, these are not, these are not, these are mixed colored lights. They're they look not, blue to me, yeah. Gives a nice blue. Can you see the blue projecting? Yeah, but it doesn't come up like the police lights come. It, it, it doesn't work. I mean, yeah. that would be handy when you're in traffic. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I would love to have that. At least I can say it's not my fault. It's the company manufacturer's fault. I brought it like that. No, yeah, not modified yeah. by me, officer. Yeah, yeah. Everyone just keeps moving out my way. I don't know why. <laughs> if only, eh? Hey. Just having a little break. Just having a little break. No, I'll just do some filming. I've just been filming this site here. Do you know R and W Civil? Do you know what this site does here? No, I know there's stains there though. Just know where this entrance is, just here. Yeah. That's where they park the ULES vans overnight. So I've just filmed the area because it's a hot topic at the moment. Oh. You know ULES, ULES vans? I know, but I don't know what ULES vans are. They charge people £12.50 per day 
if it's an old vehicle. No, I know that, but why parking there for? Oh, they've got to park somewhere, haven't they, overnight when they're not being used. Oh, bloody hell. Wow. Okay, cool. Oh, you know how they're getting vandalised quite a lot and stuff? It's a hot topic. Bloody hell. Well, you don't work for them, do you? Oh, no, no, no. I, you, I didn't even know that what, what was there. You don't work for Transport for London, do you? No, I, I wouldn't even want to. <laughs> anyway, my friend, have a nice day, yeah? A lot of abuse for London. They get what, sorry? I would get a lot of abuse for working for Transport of London. Yeah. Do people love you in your, the job that you do? Well, yeah, like traffic work. Well. Is that what you do? No, 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 oh. no, 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 not driving this stuff. But whatever you do do, people love you for it, yeah? Are you a good guy in your job? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That's all right then. Thanks. We need more guys like you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, you can see a little bit of blue there. I don't know what you think, but you can see a little bit of blue. At night, it'll be interesting to see what it looks like. The model of this vehicle is the Mercedes S350D. So if you know what it looks like when looking at the front of one of these at night, let me know because it should not look like one of these, should it? With the little blue things illuminated. Oh no. But as you heard, he did not modify it himself. The manufacturer will be to blame. But what a beast, eh? What a beast. So the guys there are dealing with it. I think they've breathalyzed him. Got some tinted windows at the back. And now we understand what happened, what made the police pull that particular vehicle. Because there has to be something, doesn't there? What does there? The Road Traffic Act, 163. They can pull any vehicle for any reason, but surely there's something that's, that spikes their interest, you know. I wonder whether we'll be able to ask them, how did they know it wasn't taxed? I'll stick around for when they get back out, if they want to talk, even if they don't, I might ask them. They're the police. We can approach them, can't we, apparently. It even has blue lights inside the vehicle on that model. And off he goes. Continue being a nice guy in the job that he does. Well, that's nice as well. Porsche. Hold up. He's checking the tyres. 1.6 millimetres of tread is the minimum here in the UK. I don't expect it's going to stay getting wet for long. No, it's back in. <laughs> But PC has exited the vehicle once again. He has the keys. Oh, and recovery are here. And so are they taking it away? And not even giving him a chance to get it taxed? It looks to be that way, yes. Just going to film you as you put it on. Okay. It's good for PR. Gets the message out there. Yeah, good. If vehicle is not taxed, this will happen. Oh, no insurance as well. I just thought it was no tax. Both, mate. both of them, yeah? It's MOT, isn't it? There you go. No insurance as well. We didn't check on the uh, the MIB database because really you shouldn't be using that willy-nilly. 
but obviously. Do you know your vehicle? Sorry to, to ask you a question, you don't have to answer it, but has it got AMPR? Huh? Has the vehicle got AMPR that you're traveling in? Yeah, yeah. So it flagged up, no insurance, no tax? Huh? Which prompted you under 163 to give it a pull? No, you didn't, no. Would you be able to just explain or not? You I'm don't have to. Right at the moment. Sorry, okay, no problem, sorry to interrupt. No, that's all right. There you have it. Not the right time to chat, but certainly wanting to get the message out there, you know, putting the sticker on, showing anybody that's taking an interest nearby that if you don't have insurance, your vehicle will be towed away. I'll try not to get you in. So he's taking the chassis number down. Obviously it all needs to be linked to a certain number and the chassis number is the, the number they use for their computer system. The reg of course may be false but on this occasion it's not but the chassis number which is located just there It's located in a few places. But it's interesting, isn't it? How it takes footage of the vehicle so that any damage can't be put onto him. It can't be blamed. He's got the ramp down, the winch ready. Well, I presume this one will just be driven straight on. Constable there has his torch on removing any personal belongings, any valuables. But it's interesting to see how they've not even asked him or for some reason he has chosen not to remove the belongings himself. So here it goes. He's allowed to drive the vehicle one last time. Of course, if the vehicle is not insured, then nobody is insured to drive it, even on their insurance. Will he see the vehicle come in? Oh, no, it's time. Is the handbrake going to be strong enough? Not always the strongest of handbrakes on these Peugeots. Sorry? It's fine, honestly. It is. Please. If you've got a problem, constable's there, but I can film your vehicle. It's no problem at all. I can, honestly. Just have interest, what are you recording for, mate? Well, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm creating content for YouTube. So anything interesting that the yeah. public don't get to see normally, I try and film it with a little bit of education as well. Okay. So I did a run a search on this vehicle when I saw it was, wasn't taxed. Yeah. But I was saying to the camera, how did you know? Something must prompt you to pull a vehicle under 163. But obviously you've told me it's like ANPR. It's instincts, isn't it? But yeah, was it, it or is. was it ANPR? Um, okay, that's fine. Um, have you got a YouTube channel there? Yeah. What, what is it out of interest? Um, I just want to have a look later. You want to have a look? Okay. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, people think they're entitled to it, but I didn't suspect that. I think you're just interested, aren't you? No, I, I you want to watch it? Yeah. There you go. You can keep that. Okay. It's less than a fiver. Okay. My um, gift to you. Okay. Crack on. Um, obviously, this chap doesn't really want to be filmed, so just I've, bear that in mind. I've said to him, I'm not going to film your face, but yeah. if you're accidentally included on what's going on, that's just you're out in public. It's mentioned don't film the truck. That's ridiculous. I will film the truck. All right. Um, 
Yeah, okay. All right, Just tell him that. Oh, you don't have to tell him anything. You carry, carry on. Great work, guys. There you go. He didn't say like, I want your name or you have to give me. I think he was genuinely interested in the channel. We might get another subscriber there. So there we have it. Came pretty quick. I mean, when I was filming just there, I did not see the flashing blue lights flash here. So I'm going to say within 10 minutes, this vehicle turns up after they've found out you've got no insurance. That was the big one, wasn't it? No insurance. Definitely not allowed to continue your journey. But they're going to give the driver a lift home on this occasion. That's good of them. But it's interesting how the vehicle has got his number plate in the dash. Shouldn't it be down here, really? Maybe it's because of the weather. They're being, they're showing some compassion. They're giving him a lift home. But that is certainly not something they have to do. But you see how quick the vehicle gets loaded, how quick they arrive. We're going to drop it off a compound, which will charge the owner X amount of pounds per night. Teach him a lesson. He'll have to get insured and taxed before he can pick it up. So that is it. This little road, it's permit holders only. You can't access it from here. The only access is up there. And there is a sign saying permit holders only. I do find it unusual how they've not got posts reminding you of that around here but that's it we'll hide a key ring actually on this video and then we'll move on so the location of the dj audits key ring this bin here and this tree to the left of it the key ring is just there if you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a key ring a good look with that and i've just noticed that where we were standing underneath that tree there the drain that was immediately in front of us has clogged up and rather than let it flood and possibly go onto the footpath for the public that are passing, I'm going to unblock it. So let's look for a stick. We don't have wellies on, so we're going to stay dry. There we go. We've got a bit of a stick. Let's get over the puddle ourselves. There we go, we made it. And we'll use the stick to move the leaves that are blocking the drain. That's the plan. Let's point the GoPro down. And it's around here somewhere. So as we move all these, it should start to unblock. The drain is around here. Well, it looks like the leaves were not the problem. Unfortunately, there's too much silt there. And the drain is actually blocked. So let's pop the stick back where we found it and carry on. Sorry about that, Staines residents. You can see how the water is flowing all the way down here. Nope, I don't think it's made a difference. So, oh, have we got a second recovery vehicle? Has there been a duplicate booking? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get onto the Love Clean Streets, which knows exactly where I am, and I'm going to start a report at this location. 
I'm going to take a photo of the problem. And then I'm going to choose the category, which is blocked street drain. A brief description. Drain blocked. And then send it. And then the local authority here in Staines will get that report and they'll add it to the list. Your report has been received and the reference is 3740116. There we go. A good deed. Well, we tried. But the recovery vehicle that came to my left is just having his own issue, look. <laughs> it's under the bonnet. And I'm going to leave that one there, guys. So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one. And I need this rain to stop. Because there's not always going to be a bush that I can stand under, is there? Let's get back to the car. Let's go and have something to eat. And fingers crossed, the rain stops soon. Because I've driven two hours to get here. Two hours. And I've only managed to do you less parking and police traffic stop. Come on. Fingers crossed.